Right, I've uh, I've redone this this tutorial um, with VoiceOver because uh, whilst we thought we'd try and be clever with music and some clicks and everything else, feedback was they didn't know what the hell was going on. Uh, so here we go again. <coughs> First off, apologise. Going to be sniffing and snorting and sounding crap. Uh, hey, you a sinusitis and I've just taken some drugs, so you have to bear with me. Otherwise, just press stop and look for something else. Okay, what we're gunning for today, first off, let's get rid of those guys, <coughs> is this. Um, a nice grey graduated effect with a filter and a nice neutral density filter over the water, fantastic. However, you're driving along the car, you the camera out the window, click, and that's what you get. Um, I wouldn't want to stick a, a lens racked with filters out of the window at 50, 60 miles an hour. So um, this obviously wasn't 50, 60 miles an hour, and it was a Hasselblad, not point and click. Uh, but you get the idea. So get back to base, and you want to do that. From that to that. So let's do it. We're going to use soft light. Um, Never really heard much about it until I stumbled across it in here, uh, and now I just love it. We're probably going to do a series of uh, stuff soft light can do, um, and this is just the first. So we're looking at sort of creating a pseudo grey graduated effect and a neutral density effect on your picks. <coughs> so let's get started. First off, new layer, um, just nice blank. Um, go for your graduation tool, make sure you're on linear graduation, everything else that's a normal, black to white. Let's go down to about the waterline then. Okay, bang. A gra grey graduation, fantastic, apart from it sucks. So we go over here, go into the layers and we want to do a soft light layer. And if you look carefully, you can just see a bit of a difference. Now what we can do is duplicate that, so we've got a soft light over a soft light. Go down, drag the layer to the new layers button, and it'll create a duplicate for you. See it's getting darker again. Same again, even darker. Now, guarantee this one will kill it, but let's show how far you can go. Ad nauseum, which is pretty much about there. So let's get rid of that layer, pop it in the bin. Now, if you want to get a bit more fine control, another blank layer. Preset that layer to soft light. Okay. Nice big brush. <sighs> what I'm going to do is set the uh, opacity to somewhere between 25 and 30 percent. Um, obviously, it depends a lot on the brush. It's just a big softy. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint it in. Go for the dark areas. Get those clouds a bit more, more menacing. As you saw, they're not remotely menacing. And the grab shot we did, so it just gets nice deep, deep greys going around here. Turn. That'll do me. Alright, let's shrink the brush up and let's go for a bit finer control. I mean, you can just keep playing here as long as you want. Be careful though, if you go too much, you start getting some. Um, I suppose what look like JPEG artifacts. I don't know what they are, but they're not very nice. Okay, so that's the sky. That's our grey graduated filter. Now we need to do the water. Now, obviously, water. I'd want a nice neutral density filter. Really plug those um, those highlights. Get some nice contrast going, and uh, well, just neutralise it a bit. And again, don't forget we're gunning for black and white here. So let's create a new layer just above the working layer. Nice simple selection game. Now you can obviously take out all the bits that aren't water. Um, I can't be bothered, so I'm not going to. Uh, but hey, you feel free. Okay, so fill this. Use a foreground colour because we've got black selected at the moment. Job done. Let's turn that to soft light again. You can see quite a pronounced effect there, too much for me. So I'm going to drop it to about there. See over here on the left, you've got that sort of um, look you can't normally capture. 
winter sun almost, uh, although this was very early spring. It certainly felt like winter. Right, let's deselect that. Now, that's pretty much what I want to do from a tonal point of view. So I'm just going to select these and merge the visibles. Although it's going to pull that in, never mind. I want this black and white, so let's do it the easy way. Let's go black and white. For the sake of argument, I'm going to choose a yellow filter. And then I'm going to play with the curves. So let's start off medium contrast. I think we could go a bit higher than that, so let's just go strong. White there. Pop those whites a bit. Some highlight expression. That's pretty close. Yeah, well, that'll do. So, job done. Take it off. That's what we came home with. That's what we would probably have pressed delete on. Or I would have done anyway. Unless I kept it for this tutorial. Black and white. Nice, nice filter effects. Nothing at all. Nice, nice filter effects. All thanks to Softlight. We love Softlight. And hopefully in the next tutorial, we'll show you some other cool stuff that it can do. Cheers.